Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, it has happened. This is a prophecy alert, a prophecy alert. All right, we know that President Trump announced on December 6th, 2017, that Jerusalem is the capital of Israel. But as you guys have already heard, uh, he has now made the decision to move the U.S. Embassy not only to Jerusalem, and a brand new one's going to be built, and it will open sometime in late 2019, as Vice President Mike Pence has said. But a temporary embassy is going to open, and the day it opens is May the 14th, 2018, on exactly the 70th anniversary of when President Truman uh, signed the documents that Israel became a nation. 70 years to the day, President Truman to President Trump, the 70 year, uh, we, we're in the fig tree generation if we've ever been. Matter of fact, the Bible says, I'm going to read this article for you, what they're saying in Israel today. Unbelievable. It has been approved by the, uh, the government of Israel for America to go ahead and do this. It says in Isaiah 44, talking about Cyrus, King Cyrus, which many people have now compared to President Donald Trump, says that, verse 27, that saith to the deep, be dry, and I will dry up thy rivers. In the, in the Hebrew, it says, I will dry up thy swamp. That saith to Cyrus, he is my shepherd and shall perform all my pleasure even saying to Jerusalem, thou shalt be built, and to the temple thy foundation shall be laid. Folks, as you guys know, and I've been online now, I've been preaching the gospel 33 years, studying biblical prophecy my whole life, and I can tell you, I've been saying that when you see the United States move its embassy to Jerusalem, then know that will be the key, that will be the sign that you will then begin to see soon thereafter the building of the third temple. Well, it hap it's happening the 70th year anniversary of Israel's as a nation will be the very day that the United States cuts the ribbon and moves its embassy into Jerusalem. Meanwhile, the Palestinians are uh, wanting a now really begging for a two-state solution. They had it. It was given to them. They rejected it because they wanted all or none. That was... Uh, of course, uh, Yasser Arafat in a, in a very, but see, God's prophecies are coming to pass. But the two state, remember, folks, it is in the book of Genesis. It is definitely in the book of Genesis that uh, Rebecca was pregnant and the Lord said, in thy womb is two, uh, two nations and two manner of people. And that that's why there was this struggle going on in her womb. Okay, this you can find this in. Genesis 25, 23, and the Lord said unto her, two nations are in thy womb and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. So it's not an easy, it's a separate, it's, it's a forced separation in thy bowels. The one people shall be stronger than the other people and the elder shall serve the younger. And of course, those two twins in her womb, those two nations in her womb was Jacob and Esau. And that would have been the Jews and the Arabs. Well, let me just uh, talk about, and that's uh, many nations as well, as you guys know. Here's what they're saying in Israel today. Just three hours ago, the Israeli leaders have embraced the U.S. decision to open the embassy in Jerusalem. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said the American decision is great day for the people of Israel. And uh, the Trump administration revealed on Friday that it intends to move the U.S. Embassy in Israel from Tel Aviv on Jerusalem uh, on May the 14th, Israel's 70th anniversary. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu hailed the U.S. announcement as a great day for the people of Israel. President Trump's decision to move the United States Embassy to Jerusalem on the coming Independence Day follows his historic declaration in December to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital, a statement issued by the Israeli embassy in Washington, D.C. this past Friday. This decision will turn Israel's 70th Independence Day into even bigger celebration. Now, I was in Jerusalem last year 
on Jerusalem Day. The last two years I've been in there for Jerusalem Day, and I was there uh, for the uh, 69th anniversary of Israel as a nation. Uh, I will not be there for this day, but uh, uh, we'll be there not long after that and a few weeks after that where I'm doing some more filming. But it's really important. You can go with me to Israel, though, in October for the 70th Israel 70th anniversary tour. It's going to be a powerful tour. You definitely want to be a part of it. We will take you to all the best places in all of Israel. And just go to my website and find the Israeli tour, click on it, get all the information. It is going to be absolutely nothing like it. We will take you places that no other tour ever has. And even uh, you'll hear great speakers in the evening. It will be a great, great tour. The decision will turn Israel's 70th Independence Day into a bigger celebration. Thank you, uh, President Trump, for your leadership and friendship was also added. And uh, the ambassador to the United Nations, Danny Danian, Danian, praised the Trump administration Friday, shortly after the announcement, and President Trump's bold decision to move the American embassy to Jerusalem this May in honor of the 70th anniversary Independence Day is a testament to the unbreakable alliance and true friendship between the United States and Israel. The time is now for all United Nation member states to follow in the footsteps of the United States, declare that they too will recognize Jerusalem as the eternal capital of the state of Israel, using the traditional Jewish expression, next year in Jerusalem, Danon pointedly said the move will take place this year. All right, this is the year. All right, anyway, it's going to be a big, big celebration there. And Trump has fulfilled a biblical prophecy because it says in, of course, uh, the scripture there in Isaiah 44, it tells you that what Trump has just done, it, it, it says, the, the Lord prophesies and says, that saith to the deep, okay, and it's, the Lord prophesying through the prophet Isaiah, say it to the deep. Boy, it's just like it's speaking to the deep state. Be dry, and I will dry up thy swamps. All right? That saith to Cyrus, he is my shepherd, and shall perform all my pleasure. And even say unto Jerusalem, thou shalt be built. I'm going to say thou shalt be recognized. That, so Cyrus is, or President Trump is the shepherd, and He's doing what the Lord has told him to do. And even to Jerusalem, thou shalt be built or thou shalt be established to the temple. Thy foundation shall be laid. That's next. So folks, biblical prophecy. Jesus said, when you see the abomination of desolation spoken by Daniel, the prophet standing in a holy place, whosoever reads, let him understand. Well, that's coming because uh, the temple will be built. Now, I don't have to have it built as an evangelical Christian. It doesn't matter to me, but I do know prophecy, and I know it will happen. I've read it, Daniel 9, 27. There's going to be a covenant with many. Jesus said, when you see the abomination of desolation, spoken by Daniel, the prophet, stand in the holy place, who serve read, let him understand. That was Matthew 24, 15. Paul explains to us what that is in 2 Thessalonians 2. And John saw the blueprints of this temple being built and two witnesses showing up. And of course, the Antichrist on the rise. All of this is coming quickly. The coming apocalypse. Give your life to Jesus Christ, folks. We're in the last days. Pray for me. I have been sick all weekend, really uh, battling the flu uh, and literally in bed. And I just got up about 30 minutes ago and said, okay, I got to get, I got to get in there. I got to get things going and we got a show tonight. So I'll be live at 7 p.m. Eastern. Please don't miss it. It is going to be powerful. The prophecies are coming to pass, and Christ is coming soon.